down here in my shop with my heat pump installed, I've been trying to work on getting it insulated. And what I have is upstairs, I'll be making a door for it since it's too small to buy one. This is the upstairs. And there's where my railing used to be. And part of it still is. I'm going to leave that part there for the most part. And I'm going to add a wall to run along there. And I'm going to show you an accurate way how to get these links for the top plates, bottom plates, and studs by using a little math. So when I set out to build my rake wall, I come up with the uh, bottom plate length. That's really all I had. I know that it's 8 and 7 eighths pitch, which means every 12 inches, 36 degrees. So I took time to make up a paper to get the, uh, like a rafter length per foot. And I also took time to decide the 2 by 4 thickness because in reality, this is the shape, but the studs usually sit on top of the top and bottom plates. I'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> so where I start off at is here. I want to know how tall it is. So I'll take the 108.75. I'll divide it into 12 inches. And I'll come up with this number, which is 9.062. And that's feet. I'm going to take that number. And I'm going to times the 8.8.75. Now I've got 80.42 or 80 and 7 sixteenths. Well, from this same number, I'm going to get this here, and I'll just use this same number here again. So 9.062 times this number. One thirty-five twenty. I'll we'll just say one thirty-five and three sixteenths. That's a good place to start. Now I'll move on to the top and bottom plates. So I'll take the uh, thicknesses and I'll just double them up and I'll start a new paper. Okay. 80 and 7 sixteenths. I'm going to take that number. Now I'm going to minus one and a half minus 1.8125. Now I've got a new number, 77 and an eighth. Whoops, sorry, 77 and an eighth. This one here does not need to be redone. But now that I've got this here, this will be the first stud length. And since we're on the long miter side, I can decide how to figure up the uh, common difference. So for that, okay, to find out the first stud length, instead of going 16, I need to center it up. It needs to be centered 16 to this edge. So to do that, I need to minus 3 quarters. So I'll take, uh, say, 15 and a quarter, divide it by 12, and I'll come up with this number which is 1.27. I'll go ahead and times that, times 8.875, and I come up with this number, 11.27. And from there, let me write down the first one here. From there, I'm going to come up with the first length. So I start 77.125 minus 11.27. And I've got 65.85. This is important if you want to center it from here to the edge. OK, 
Okay, now that I've got that number, I can come up with the common difference. So we're going to take 1.33, which represents a foot and a third, which is 16 inches. We'll times it, times 8.875. Now we've got the common difference is 11.80. And from there on, we'll take these numbers, minus this, 5405 and we'll just head on down the wall until they get less than 16. Simple as that. And there's my wall. I don't have them nailed yet, but I'll be doing that next. shims out here where the floor has got a slight sag in it. But if my math would have been off, it'd have a gap going all the way back. It's tight up top, it's tight down here, it's only off here. That's what shims is for, so I'm going to shim it. I'll put the shims in and then they'll in place like always. And there's the wall with the insulation. While I was at it, I went ahead and sheetrocked the other side. It's poor lighting up here. I think you can see what's going on. 